Hi, I'm Alicia and welcome to my channel Papercraft Secrets. Today I've got a special video for you. It's a five tip video for last minute Christmas cards. I don't know about you, but life just gets busier and busier. And sometimes it can be so tricky to find time to craft. Christmas will be here before we know it. So this video will help you to create quick Christmas cards in time for Christmas. I'm also teaming up with my good friend Jerry from Jerry's Craft Room. And at the end of this video, you can click on over to her YouTube channel and find out her five tips for last minute Christmas cards as well. So let's get started and I'll take you through my five ideas to help you create Christmas cards quickly and in time for Christmas. Tip number one is to follow a sketch. Now I love to follow a sketch or even if I don't follow a sketch, I kind of have a sketch in my mind when I'm creating a bulk set of cards. And for this bulk set of cards, I've created this sketch, which is very simple and one that I use a lot. And you can see here that I am using this sketch to create a bulk set of 10 Christmas cards. It's got a simple rectangular strip on one side of the card and then a wider rectangular strip on the other side of the card. And where those two papers join is where I'm just adding some gold lace for a little bit of extra sparkle on these cards. And I like to create my cards in bulk so that I do all of the background papers first and then I start to add the embellishments. Now in this set of cards I'm using Nente Papers Time of Wonders collection and you can see how I've added a frame from the Time of Wonders collection and then I'm adding a fussy cut image on top. Finally I'm using a wooden Christmas sentiment to embellish the cards and I'm keeping everything very simple and very flat for posting so that you can create multiple cards for Christmas in a short amount of time. And this is a new kit that's coming very soon onto my website. My second tip is to use a previous design. So for example, this is me, I think maybe one or two years ago when I created a twist and pop card using some beautiful Minte papers. I loved creating these cards. So this year I went ahead and I used exactly the same design of card, but different papers. So this is the more updated Minte Christmas range. And I followed the same design that I used a couple of years ago, but I changed the papers so the card looks completely different. By using a design that you have already created or made a card with, it's taking time out of the design making process. So when you've already got a design in your head of something that you've made in a previous year, you can just simply change the papers up and then you've got a quick and easy card that you're already used to creating. So it takes out a lot of that design time. You can just get straight into the creation of the card without having to think too long and hard about what you will make. My third tip is to use a clean and simple design. Clean and simple designs are quick to create. You don't need to overthink embellishments. You don't need to overthink layering. It's just keep it quick, keep it simple, and you can create cards that are beautiful, that are perfect for Christmas, but they don't take a lot of time. So if you're looking at creating, say, 20 to 50 cards, a clean and simple design saves you lots of time. My fourth tip is to make cards in bulk. Now, if you follow my channel, you know how much I love to create bulk sets of cards. And this is because I believe once you've got a design in your head, 
Why stop with just one card? Why not create many cards using the same design all at once? I'm a big believer in maximizing time. We don't get a lot of time for crafting. And so when we do craft, it's good to feel like you've achieved something and ticked some goals. So this is a new printable that's coming to my website. It's actually going to be a free printable. So stay tuned for this because you can create your Christmas cards with this free printable. This is my Christmas gift to everybody. And you can make many, many cards in bulk from this printable. Here I am just cutting up all the little bits. And then once I have cut everything out, then I fold all of my cards. So this is how I create cards in a bulk um, method, doing everything together at the same time, not making one card at a time then making another card, but doing everything at once. I find it's much quicker um, and more effective to create a lot of cards in this bulk way. So just adding on those images to the front and adding on the inside part where you can write the message on the card. And these cards also have a little pocket on the inside. They are called a pocket card. And this little pocket, you can choose to put it on if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But it's perfect for a gift card. Um, if you give out gift cards at Christmas instead of presents. So that's the little pocket there. So this, this um, free printable is coming very soon to my blog, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you haven't made your Christmas cards yet and you'd like to create cards with an Australian theme for Christmas, then you, um, you might certainly like to download this and print these off at home. My fifth tip is to keep to a flat design. If you are posting cards in the mail, then it is important that you can fit them into a standard envelope and that they're not too bulky. So when I'm creating cards that I wish to post in the mail, I do try to stick to a flat design as much as I can. And finally, what not to do. If you are in a hurry to create Christmas cards, you don't want to spend a lot of time with embellishments. Now this is a beautiful set of Christmas cards that I made and this is another set here. And I love both of these sets so much. But the reality is if you are short on time, you need to keep your embellishments very simple and you need to keep your design simple. Don't overthink embellishments and don't overthink your designs. So I hope you've enjoyed this video with my five tips on how to create quick Christmas cards. And now I'd love it if you could pop on over to my friend Jerry's channel and take a look at her video that will show you her five tips. So after watching these two videos, you are certainly going to be ready to go to create your Christmas cards. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely crafty day.